This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This is uh, Thanksgiving week, and so for many of us, we're spending a couple days um, with our families as a chance to, to reconnect and uh, cook some turkey or, or uh, have another meal. Um, and be with family. And we know for many of us that being with family is not always a simple proposition, that, that family dynamics around the holidays uh, can get complicated quickly. So um, by way of a Thanksgiving offering, I wanna share these, these questions um, from a colleague of mine named Jake Morrill. Jake is, uh, is a practitioner of, uh, of what's called family systems theory, which is a way of thinking about family systems, um, but also church systems um, in, a, in a particular way. Um, but he, uh, he offers up these five questions as a way to, to help prepare and help uh, process um, all the, the family dynamics that come with this holiday. So the first question is, what's your assigned or scripted role to play at Thanksgiving? Some people predictably end up as martyrs in the kitchens, while others end up sacked out on the couch. This year, in an effort to show up with thoughtfulness and less automatic anxiety, what could you do differently? The second question, who is someone you'll share Thanksgiving with from whom you tend to keep your distance? What are three questions you could ask that person that you are genuinely curious about? A third question. Whose happiness do you tend to manage? What could you do to relate to that person as more capable of handling things for themselves? Question four. What's one unique, specific thing about each person who will be at Thanksgiving for which you are grateful? See if you can come up with at least one thing for each different person. And the fifth and last question, if Thanksgiving were an invitation to grow up just a little bit more in the long, lifelong effort to be a mature, free, flexible, and principled person, what would be one goal for yourself this Thanksgiving? So it may be that only one of those five questions speak to you. It may be that none of those questions speak to you, that you are uh, joyfully doing your plans and, and you don't need any advice or any reflection from any church. Um, but on the off chance um, that they spark something for you, I hope, I hope your answers mean something in your life and that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'll see you here on Friday.